Welcome back to Eternal Darkness. When we finished looking at that last chapter page in the last episode, something fell out of it. This note here. Note from Edward. Which says something about, I need to find the remaining 88 keys to continue my journey into the past. Which sounds like a joke and I think it's a hallucination, but frankly, I'm not actually sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure it is. Let's go out and just see if something happens. I mean, the thing is though, hallucinations in the past have disappeared pretty quickly, and it's still in my inventory, which is really weirding me out. So the last thing we did... Whoa. Oh right, the scroll. Just likes going back and forth. So we already got Mantarok's heart. Um, let's take a look if anything has changed in this like light room thing. Is there a light shining down or anything? No. Yeah, I don't think we do anything here yet. I'm trying to think of what to do. Usually it's pretty obvious. Wait, what? Wait, I'm locked inside? Is that a hallucination? Okay, I guess it was. <laughs> what are you doing there? I see you. No, not you. Look at that. Anyway, usually when you do a chapter page, you get some sort of new magic that makes it pretty obvious what you need to do to continue. Gain some new ability. But in this case, I'm not sure. I mean, there, we have Summon Trapper. I don't think that matters. Um, we do have the ability to cast level 5 spells now. But I can't think of anything that would help for. Like... I mean, again, I don't think this wallpaper thing has anything to do with magic, but I could try casting a level 5 uh, Reveal Invisible? I don't know, blue? Yeah, I didn't think so. Huh. I just found this. Seeing the piano stirred up distant recollections of Paul Luther's story in Alex's mind. The echoes of those notes within the cathedral within the cathedral echo also within her own consciousness. Her hands are drawn to the keys almost of their own accord. Should I play the piano? Is this what I actually have to do to continue? If so, that is very obscure. Okay. Make sure I do this in time again. To X B Y A. Huh. Is there a dead person in the corner back there? That really looks like a dead person. Forbidden City. Who are you? I am your lord and conqueror. What manner of forsaken being are you? So, you can see me in my true form. You are a gifted man. Take this one and use him as the foundation for the pillar. He is special and should be given a special place among the suffering. Foundation for the, for the Pillar of Flesh? Okay, so you're, you're not real, right? The darkness is coming. No, I didn't think so. Yeah, you really had to play the piano. You're supposed to make the connection between playing the organ in Paul's story and then playing the same melody on a piano with Alex in the present day. That is very obscure. I'm lucky that I just pressed, like, I didn't, I didn't press on the piano thinking anything would happen. Honestly, I was just like mashing buttons running around. So I got really lucky there.
Okay, the Forbidden City. Much has been written about the exploits of conquerors. In the context of history, one man's champion is another man's nemesis, hero or murderer. Much has been written, but what has not is far more interesting. The Tome of Eternal Darkness mentions a Venetian artist and architect of the Renaissance named Roberto Bianchi. Roaming abroad to find inspiration, he was captured by a warlord expanding his empire. He forced Roberto to use his architectural and engineering skills to construct a monument to his greatness. To complete his task, he must survey the site. Survey the site quickly, dog, and maybe you'll live long enough to see the sacrament's construction. Did you think we would trust you, Bianchi? Even though you are graced with the generosity of our liege, you are still his prisoner. As I said, finish your work quickly, and maybe we'll drag you out of this hole. Bianchi seems just so sad. In a very weird way. Doesn't feel like talking, just feels like making sad faces. Roberto must survey the ruins of this ancient temple. The rooms he must survey can be found on the map. Only when these areas have been inspected can the construction begin. Can be found on the map. Oh no, do I have to actually use the map for once? Is it the ones in green? Or is there another map? Is there an inventory map? Nope. The foundation for the monument has been constructed, but it has suffered some damage. The rest of the complex is unknown, and Roberto must discover if construction can continue. This looks very familiar. Oh, I didn't even see you there. But yeah, this room, this is very familiar to the stuff that uh, Pius went through in the very beginning, right? No, ooh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I meant to talk to you. I'm sorry. I'll just see myself out now. Oh, and this monster's here. I don't know if that's actually doing any damage. Oh right, I don't have the Tome of Eternal Darkness. Uh, I think we better run. Roberto really is having a bad day, huh? Oh, dead end? One of Roberto's fellow slaves lies dead. His wounds seem to have attracted the attention of the beasts where they have been gnawed open, spilling his innards onto the dusty floor. I try to bash everything. Okay, I'll try to talk to these folks instead of whacking them. Should Robert try to survey this area? Uh, yes. The structure around here shows signs of stress. It's far from sound. 
Perhaps with some reinforcement it might be able to suit the requirements of the monument. Aha! Uh -huh. An old scythe lies discarded on a nearby ledge. A curved Arabic sword with a distinctive pommel, the scythe is the standard weapon of most Middle Eastern armies. Well, we can deal with you now. Um... There we go. Well, the sword really doesn't have as much reach as it looks like. Okay, I've got a feeling I was supposed to survey this site back here. A frantic worker looking for answers to questions that can't be answered. He hopes Roberto is there to save them and longs to see his family and friends once he escapes. At least they're not cowering in fear anymore. But yeah, am I supposed to look at this room? I see an X on the map down there. I guess maybe I'm not supposed to survey this room? I guess not. Okay, let's continue down. Oh, this is so gonna close behind me. Is right there. I want to slice it off. Lever situated. Yeah, just press it. It's gonna close it behind you and open up all the other things. Yeah, the range on this thing is remarkably bad. Look at that. You have to be like basically touching them. This is actually kind of hard. So wait a minute, if all these people are here, then like, all these, I don't even know who these people are, but did all these people have to walk through the zombies too, and go through that same contraption with all the levers and gates and creatures? I didn't even see those. This man is concerned that the guards might hear them talking and points out that there must be a way out of this place. Probably not going to use that. Try to survey it, yes. Dust and rock falls from the roof through a vault in the stone. It is difficult for Roberto to assess how sturdy the place is, but it needs a lot of reinforcement if it is to be built upon.
So I'm sent here to assess the structural integrity of this place, to survey it, but it sounds like I'm not even really doing that. I mean, you just said Roberto couldn't even tell how sturdy the place is. Oh well. Aha. Magics. Oh, creatures are coming. So before we do anything, let's... What the hell did I just do? I meant to do shield. What is D-pad down? Oh, it's dispel magic. Shield is left. Okay. Let's do shield and enchant item. No! I shall defend you. Worried not. Oh. Is that what you're afraid of? The worker is surprised to see Roberto. He confesses to cowardice, and he stayed behind while others ventured further into the complex. When the screams of the others echoed from the walls, he dared not move. Smart. Hey, little buddies. A collapsed roof and scaffolding prevent Roberto from proceeding further down the corridor. Oh, hello. Ooh, didn't work. No, 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 no. Um, let's do damage field. That was... Right. Oh, it can't be damaged unless it's open, right? There we go. Actually, I don't think that really works. Okay, that sort of did. Library of sorts, a small collection of rotted useless books lie amidst smashed pottery and debris. Summon zombie. Ooh. No! Oh, we're fine. Sorry, little buddy. Wait, did it die? Yeah, it died. Summon zombie. So how would I do that? It didn't auto-complete it. So I don't have the runes known, but they could be unknown. Well, we'll wait a bit and see if we get it. Pretty soon. And if we don't, then I can try to make it myself. Okay, hold on a second. I saw a green light on that thing. So what's good against green? Blue. Shit. 
What are the colors good against? Um, blue is good against red. Right? Blue is good against red. Red is good against green. Yeah, so red. So I want red to go against green. Yeah. So let's do enchant item. Sign. We'll do the powerful one. There we go. Also, my damage field. Do I have that upgraded? Damage field? No. Let's upgrade it. So a circle thing going down and then the other thing. That'll make sense to me in just a second. New spell, powerful one. Let's make it red. Circle thing going down, which is that. And then the other one. This thing. Protect area. Yes. And then power, power. Assign the stronger version, red, to right. There we go. I need to upgrade shield too. I'll do that later. Worker's corpse lies amidst a pile of rubble. The man's body has been pulverized by being thrown against the wall with such ferocity that it had collapsed. It didn't cast, did it? Oh no, it did! Yes! Well, I guess I might as well get some hits in, huh? Let's... go the crossbow. I love damage field so much. Ah, oh, it's so good. Ooh, what's this? Crossbow bolts? Yes. Look at all those rats there. Oh, they're bunching up on it because they can't get through the field. Another worker's corpse, this time slashed from behind as he ran from his attacker, hoping for escape. Well, I feel like that taught me an important lesson. Roberto Bianchi, 1460 AD. Did you know that AD actually means after destiny? Do you know time is actually oriented around the release of Destiny, the game? It's a very important video game. Ravaged corpses litter the room. Their flesh has been devoured in places and decomposition has already set in. Same as the other description. Oh, I just had a horrible thought. I could summon a trapper and then make it walk on that thing, but that wouldn't help me and also it'd be horrible. No! Damn you, I wanted to set it off and watch it fall, but it actually forces you to walk fully into it because it initiates a cutscene. Oh, evil. A tiny zombie! Big zombie.
tiny door? Or big door? Or ladder? Let's try tiny door. Ah, survey site. Although crumbling in places, the structure of this area could be braced to provide enough of foundation for the monument. Uh, oh. You've got skeletons inside of your skeletons, don't you? Or is this a hallucination? What did my sword hit there? Damn, they move so fast like I don't have time to cast a spell or anything. Maybe I should just leave. Oof. really don't do much damage at all. was no point to actually going in there. Like, going back in there. I just realized I'm tiny. This isn't really happening. I kind of liked it. Hmm. Seems like an important way to go. I'm curious, what are these big doors? Ah, it's locked. from the collapsed ceiling prevent any passage in that direction. Oh, is that a big one? Yes, it is. There's a key to the big door. Come find me. Oh, it just died. All right then. some coals in the way. There's a key placed on the pedestal. It glints in the room's soft light. Oh, 
A moat of molten rock and fire prevents access to the room's center, in which a curious shrine stands. Confused by the layout, Roberto ponders its purpose and reason and finds none. Decorated with runes, great care has been taken to place the scaffolding around the symbols, not to damage them. Obviously, they must be of great significance. So, is there some sort of magic I can cast here? Because I can't think of any. Oh. Oh, I guess it says it right there, huh? On the pedestal. Um... What is that, though? I mean, is that a dispel? Okay, well, I'm thinking this could be related to it because it's the summon zombie spell. And we did just get the scroll for that. I'm not exactly sure what the zombie's gonna do. Just walk across the hot coals, maybe? <laughs> I'm not sure. And yeah, uh, something interesting. So there actually are not separate summon spells, but rather the different levels of power for the same summon spell summons something different. So the, th the level, like, three, the three ruined version of this summons the trapper, and this five ruined version is the same runes, just with the extra powers added, and it summons a zombie instead. It's interesting. I tried shield, by the way. That didn't work. So, let's try summon zombie. It's listed as a separate spell slot, but yeah, it's the same runes. Ah. Oh. I have to run some more laps to <laughs> regain my magicka. Okay, let's see how this works. I think I'm in control of them. Oh, it looks like it casts a defense around your character when you do this too, so you can do it in combat and be sort of protected, maybe? Attack enemies. Attack an enemy's head to perform a gnaw attack. Mm-hmm. They can open doors but not pick up items. Huh. Maybe I do need a trapper, then. No, tra trappers can't open doors or pick up items. The zombies can actually look at stuff. That's neat. Yeah, I think it, uh, yeah, it looks like it slowly drains your sanity to have, uh, to be looking through a zombie's eyes like this. The spell description mentioned something about it, too. Can I attack myself? Nah, damn. Hmm. Oh! That makes sense, actually. Lose control of it, and you have to fight it. Huh. I don't understand what to do. Okay, I finally just eventually had to look up a walkthrough. So apparently you're supposed to use a level 5 green dispel. Let's just test it to make sure it actually works. very confused. Let me bring that up again. So someone said you have to use a level 5 blue reveal invisible. Well, I've already done that multiple times. It doesn't work. And then the person who... Well, it's not the original person who made the topic, but someone else replied to that and said I had to use the green level 5 dispel option. The blue one didn't work. Uh... Well, let's try the blue one. I'm very confused. Let's try... Reveal Invisible Green? I've already tried Blue multiple times. Okay. So... What? I've got a couple of questions. 
Um. Oh, I think I just answered part of it for me. Two questions I was going to have. One question was, how come people in the thread are all saying different things? Uh, and the other question was, how are you supposed to know to do that? The first one I think I just answered just thinking about it. I think because you get a choice of what god or whatever Pius chooses in the beginning, I think the colors that everything is assigned probably differs depending on your decision. So that's probably why it's different for me. But, uh, yeah, how are you supposed to know to do that? I guess... I thought... Am I remembering wrong? Or when you see a symbol and you're supposed to do reveal invisible, I thought you're supposed to do the same alignment, not the opposing alignment that's good against it. Is that what I've done in the past? I don't remember. I'm just confused now. Like, is that what I did for the key in the dresser back in the mansion? Did I reveal invisible with the opposing alignment? Uh, at that point, I might not have had a choice of alignment. I might have only had one. I don't know. Anyway, let's get this damn key. I hate this key now. Should open the big door. Help me, Grandpa. I can't take this anymore. Don't be so weak, Alex. <laughs> you have a stronger mind than this. I didn't bring up a weakly. Jesus. A scared wretch of a girl. You kept all this from me. You kept me alone. You shared nothing with me. I couldn't. I could never give you the burden. I just wanted you to grow up. To grow up and leave me alone. Why couldn't you have been killed with your parents? This isn't really happening. Yeah, that wasn't real. Oh, I'm still in here. hallway, both because of the bodies and also because of the strange, shimmery color of the floor. Okay. I guess I should shield myself. Is that really going to help, though? No, I probably need to dispel magic, right? What alignment is it, though? I guess I should probably just use green again? I mean, it's like yellow colored, which isn't actually an alignment. the zombie for this. Ooh. Zombies can open doors but not pick up items. Maybe there's like... Yeah, I probably do need a zombie. Let me just try though to cast a shield. I forgot what shield's assigned to. What are you assigned to? save first, because this is probably not going to work. Oh. Oh. Just worked. Hi. 
the man babbles incoherently about worms devouring his countrymen. And that Roberto will be next. A hideous boss relief adorns the monolith. Humans thrown into a nest of huge worms. The people have been sacrificed, ingested by the worms, to feel some unknown, unfathomable process. To me, it just looks like a bunch of skeletons having a party. Oh, can I just cut this? A rope holds the bridge aloft, waiting to be lowered into position. There we go. Scarping depicts a man's skeletal remains in the cruel embrace of a multitude of worm-like creatures. Are these the things that killed the men in this room? Gotcha. <laughs> Was that it? Just whack him once in the eye? <laughs> Alright, we're good. Wait, no wrong one? Crap, I'd already used the power. Ah, now I don't have the energy to cast anything. I wanted shield. Is that the way I came in? What did I just open up? Should Roberto try to survey this area? Uh, sure. The dilapidated roof appears to be collapsing in several areas and will need a lot of reinforcement. The workers will have a daunting task ahead of them, not to mention the deadly worms. Why am I sinking into the ground? Oh, is that a hallucination? <laughs> I thought it was a bug at first. Whew. Yeah, I'm just like running all the way back, which is probably not what I'm supposed to do, but I don't know what else to do. Actually, you know what? That's probably the solution. That was probably the last area I needed to survey. And I guess it did just open the way back to where I was before. So I think this is actually the right way to go. Holy backtracking. That took a long time. But isn't this where I started? Oh, don't tell me I missed something. Hmm, said so they're marked on the map, right? Oh, I see an X right there on like a lower level. Okay, just out of curiosity, because I can't imagine why they actually showed me that zombie getting squished there. Like, I don't understand the point. So, just out of curiosity, how about I summon a zombie and get squished myself? Yep, that's a skeleton. Pressure-sensitive mechanism has been constructed into the floor. Oh! Was it a secret? Whoa. Whoa! That's a cool-looking enemy. Where am I? Uh, on the map. I wonder if this could be where I... Oh, this is actually where I need to go. I needed to do this. So it's not really a bonus thing. Okay. Yeah, that enemy is really cool looking. I love it. 
I shouldn't have done it so close. Why did I do it so close? It's not gonna cast. Oh, it did. Ooh, sweet. Oh, right. They don't take damage unless they're like unveiled, unfurled. I think it's it's still there. Okay, we're good. Oh no, oh no, we're not good. I have absolutely no Sanita. Very low magic. No sanity. All right, I'll be back from. Venture no further, or be struck down where you stand. Who? What? I am the guardian of this temple, the Forbidden City. None shall enter except the chosen. Speak. <laughs> You are the Chosen. For many years I have tested those who came here and all have failed. You are unaffected by the power I wield, and thus must surely be the Chosen. I? Once I was as you were, confused and without answers, yet they came in time. Now my duty is complete. I can finally rest. My sacrifice was not in vain. Roberto can feel the acidic touch of the artifact's magic reaching towards him. Using a shred of cloth from his robes to shield his hands, he retrieves the hovering artifact. The second ruby effigy I found. Oh right, still have to survey the area. Uh, appears to be an incredibly ancient shrine to the ancients, as noted in the Tome of Eternal Darkness. Could this be what Roberto's captor seeks to preserve with his monument? Roberto has completed his survey of the complex. Now he can return to the surface and report his findings to his captor. Ah, oh, I still gotta go back. Okay. Let's enchant. Two pathways? Construct of human bones lashed together to form a small shrine. A shade of skin tops the edifice, making the light cast eerie shadows on the walls that glow with a warmth of their own. Now, last time this thing wanted the Tome of Eternal Darkness back. Does it still want it? Oh, I can't even use it. Okay. It's just here, hanging out. Ooh. 
Ooh, how did that not hurt me? Oh, damn you. Ah, oh, forget it. <laughs> I'm just gonna run past him. Uh, I should probably get my sanity back though, huh? Green! Yes! Am I gravely hurt or something? How's my- Oh, I am. I didn't realize my health was so low. I can't cast within the Trapper Dimension. Okay. Okay, I hope I don't die here, because I can't move very fast. I need to heal myself really quickly. Oh! Oh no, oh no, oh no. Wow! No mercy, no invisibility, you just instantly take damage when you come back. I think we're finally almost out of here. Right? Right? Wait a minute. No, don't tell me. Don't... Don't tell me. I didn't survey it. Okay. We're finally done, thank god. And what news do you bring me, architect? The, the, the foundations are infested. Demons and devils. Many lives will be lost if you try to build there. You have done well to complete your goal, Bianchi. The construction will continue as planned. But the demons! You'd be insane to build there! Silence, dog! What dwells beneath the Forbidden City is the very reason it was built. For you to understand, you must witness it firsthand. Let me educate you. Guards! Put this one with the others of the sacrifice. I am the Scourge of God, appointed to chastise you, since no one knows the remedy for your iniquity except me. You are wicked, but I am more wicked than you. So be silent! Now you, Architect, you are about to make your largest contribution to this project. I don't entirely understand how that pillar of flesh works exactly. So the architect and all those other people were pushed down that cylinder, and then they showed up. I mean, it looked as if they were like pressed into wet concrete, and then the concrete dried or something. But like, how does just pushing somebody down the tube press them into the wall of the concrete? I don't. I don't understand. Anyway, um, that was by far the most tedious chapter out of all of these that I've played. Most of them have been quite fun, but oof, that one, not so good. Anyway, hopefully the rest are better. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.